the new generation Peugeot 3008 has been introduced. With the change of generation, the model has also changed its form factor, now it is a cross coupe, now it is E3008, i.e. an electric car. Moreover, the SUV became the first model not only of Peugeot but of the entire Stellantis group to be built on the latest STLA medium platform, designed for electric cars. By 2030, the brand intends to have fully electric versions of its entire range. The new Peugeot E3008 will be presented in three versions. The first is equipped with a 73 kWh NMC battery and an electric motor, 214 horsepower, 373 Nm. The middle dual motor differs only in the two-motor all-wheel drive, 326 horsepower, 509 Nm, and in both cases the range on a single charge is 525 km. At the top of the range is the long-range version with a 98 kWh battery and a range of up to 700 km. This E3008 is all-wheel drive and its electric motor produces 231 horsepower. All E3008s will have a black roof. There are six colors in the body palette, Oconite White, Pearl Black, Artense Gray, Titanium Gray, the New Ingera Blue and Obsession Blue, which changes from blue to green depending on the light thanks to two-tone pigments. Peugeot has transformed the E3008, taking to a whole new level the creativity of its design and the driving pleasure and electric performance it offers to its users. Allure of a fastback SUV with a reinvented and efficient design. Emotion produced by the next-gen Peugeot Panoramic Eye Cockpit which takes driving pleasure to a whole new level. Excellence 100% electric range, up to 700 km, and performance, thanks to the new STLA medium platform from Stellantis. With the new E3008, Peugeot design is entering a new electric era, where Allure has style at the service of efficiency. The grille of the new E3008 illustrates the electric genes of this model. This front end is designed around the new Peugeot emblem, integrating the new light signature in the grille without delimitation, thanks to a gradient in the color of the bodywork. The ultra-compact headlamps are housed in a slim, elegant strip that sits above the radiator grille and wraps around the entire front end. It is a distinctive design feature that gives the new E3008 a particularly piercing look, asserting its modernity and personality. The headlamps are LED on all versions. The E3008 GT comes as standard with Peugeot's new Pixel LED technology, which automatically adapts the headlamp beam to traffic conditions, maintaining optimum lighting without disturbing other road users. The crossover can be charged with direct current up to 160 kilowatts. In this case, the battery fills from 20 to 80 percent in about 30 minutes. The car also supports V1G and V2L technologies. The first minimizes the cost of charging based on the capabilities of the network, the second allows you to charge from the electric car household appliances or, for example, a scooter. In addition, there is a three-stage regeneration system and several driving profiles, including 4WD, only in combination with dual motor drive, for snowy roads, mud and slippery surfaces. Later in the gamut of versions of the 3008 will add fuel-efficient modifications with mild hybrid and charged installations and some kind of powertrain specifically for international markets. According to unofficial information, the base crossover without the prefix E will receive a Turbo Troika 1.2 with a 48-volt electric motor built into a 6-speed robot, and a more powerful version will be offered with a Turbo 4 1.6 and a battery of increased capacity. In the design of the new E3008 more than half a ton of environmentally friendly materials. Of the low 60% is green steel and aluminum, the rest, polymers. Recycled plastic is used for bumpers, spoilers and floor mats. In total, there are around 30 such parts. As for external transformations, from now on 3008 is a coupe-shaped crossover with stacked rear pillars, a spoiler on the fifth door and a dynamic silhouette of a fastback. In the cabin, the new panoramic eye cockpit with a curved display with a diagonal of 21 inches, which is installed above the steering wheel and combines the dashboard with a multimedia system and projection display. But such a cockpit will be available only in the expensive configuration, in the base version. The E3008 has two conventional 10-inch split screens. Adaptive pixel optics, heated seats and ventilation for front seats are announced for Peugeot E3008. The production of the E3008 and the main components of the electric drive will be handled by the French enterprises of the Stellantis concern. JV Stellantis and Nidec and Tramery will produce motors, the plant in Volus yeah, gearboxes. The crossover itself will stand on a conveyor of a site in Sochaux. Next year, the company also announced the appearance of a larger electric car Peugeot E5008 in 2024. The new Peugeot E3008 will go on sale in Europe in February.
the Peugeot teams decided to combine two of the three fundamental elements of the i-cockpit, the head-up display and the large central touchscreen. These are now integrated into a curved panoramic screen made up of a single 21-inch high-definition panel, which extends from the left-hand end of the dashboard to the center console. This panoramic screen floats above the dashboard. The floating effect is emphasized by the ambient LED lighting, the source of which is located beneath the screen. Positioned for optimum ergonomics, this 21-inch panoramic screen is slightly curved towards the driver, while remaining perfectly accessible to the passenger. This large and high-quality digital screen therefore combines two key functions of the Peugeot i cockpit. On the left-hand side of the panoramic screen, the instrument cluster combines all the information relating to driving, speed, power, driving aids, energy flow, above the compact steering wheel. On the right-hand side of the panoramic screen, in the center of the dashboard, the touchscreen section is accessible to both driver and passenger. It can be used to manage the heating slash air conditioning, navigation, media slash connectivity systems, etc. On the Allure version of the E3008, the new Peugeot i cockpit is made up as standard of two 10-inch digital screens integrated into a single panel in the panoramic display, giving the same floating effect as the 21-inch panel. The GT is fitted as standard with a 21-inch screen. Thank you for watching and do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe the channel.